hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today, I have something a little special for you. So I was contacted by the folks over at Parku and they asked, could they send over something to show you guys? And I was like, of course you can. I just love showing my subscribers all kinds of new products. So they went ahead and sent it over. And if you haven't guessed what it is, it's their 80 set of dual tip markers. Yes! I have seen a couple of creators with these markers and I was super excited when they contacted me and asked me would I show them because I wanted to see what all the hubbub was about. Are they good markers? Do they, are they nice and juicy? Are there any DOAs? Cause yeah, that's a thing. So I am going to try these out for you guys. So first things first, as you can see, it comes in this really cool carrying case. The carrying case has a handle. It has the two clips to make sure it's securely closed so that if you go to pick it up, all your stuff doesn't fall out. Uh, it has like the Parku logo here. It tells you it's a broad tip and a fine tip. So they're not brush tip, but that's okay. It, on the back here, it gives you some tip. They're quick drying. They're alcohol based, waterproof, non-toxic, smear proof, fade resistant. That's a good one. Dual tip art markers, ideal for drawing, coloring, sketching, doodling, illustrating, de detail, marketing, and more. And of course, you don't want children under three getting a hold of these or Maggie. Um, make sure you put your caps back on tight. The color card is included. When using the pen, alcohol based ink may emit low odor meaning it might smell like alcohol. Uh, this is normal. I like the fact that they put this is normal because some people are like, is this supposed to smell? Yes, it's an alcohol-based product that's going to smell like alcohol. So what's the hubbub with these markers? So to open it up, those clasps are really, really secure on there. So it might take a little force, but you got to do what you got to do. And then when you open it up, there you have it, all 80 markers. And like, like it said, there is a color card included, which I think is really cool. And of course it has all 80 uh, colors in a honeycomb shape on there. Now the markers in here may not be in order. I don't know if they were in order when I got them. I got them, uh, I got, I've had them for a couple of days now and I've, I've been testing them out. I've been testing the waters to make sure that they're good. Uh, so, we are going to, I'm not going to do the whole color card with you. I'm just going to pick out a couple of colors and then we'll color a coloring page with said markers. So I like the fact that it has the number on it. And what you do is you pick a color. So here is the marker itself. It says art marker, parku real little on the side. I think they should have switched that though. I think they should have put parku bigger and then made art marker smaller. Uh, it does tell you which side is which. So you have your broad tip and your fine tip. You also have the ribbed uh, caps on the markers to help it to keep from rolling. They are a tri triangular shape. It does also have the warning on the side for children under the age of three years old or Maggie. Um, so let's see what these markers are all about. So you have your dual tip. Looks nice and juicy. And then you have your fine tip, nice little fine tip edge there. So what we're going to do, this is marker number 88 and it's purple gray. I have never heard of purple gray. One thing I love about these, the caps are stackable. Yes, because you know I'm going to lose it. All right. So then what you do on your color card is you find number 88. So you just, da, 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 boom, 88. And then you're just going to color that in. So I'm going to outline the edges of the color card with that color. Purple, gray. All right. So this is a great way so that when you're coloring, you know which one is which. And again, I won't do the whole thing with you. I'll probably do some movie magic, to be honest, and then come back and show you what the whole card looks like finished. But we'll do a couple. Now, another one that I noticed that they had was gold. I love gold. Gold. So it just says gold on it. Uh, so here on the side, it says gold. We're just going to color that in there. So it kind of looks like it has fleckles of something on it. I'll show you here in a few minutes. 
It definitely is a gold color. It's super juicy. That word just sounds so dirty. So there's your gold. It looks like it has fleckles of something on it. I'm not 100% sure what that is. So there's your gold. Then we have silver. Of course, you can't have gold without silver. Ooh, I love that. We're just going to color that in there. And of course, this piece of uh, card is kind of like a piece of cardboard almost. It It's thick like cardstock, so it may not react the same way uh, to essentially coloring on it. But we're going to do a little movie magic, and when I come back, we'll have it all colored in. You ready? And voila, there you have it. The color card is completed. Look at the colors. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. Now, let's pick through some of these colors. Now, I had to do a little bit of research, more so ask Mr. Coffee, so I have to take notes. Don't, don't judge me. All right, so we have our pinks and purples, our blues, our brown colors, our orange and yellow. Uh, we have our greens and blues. We have our grays here and then black, silver, or black, silver, and gold. So they do have a wider range of colors. Because if you don't remember, I've actually reviewed Parku before, and I will leave that video up in the eye in case you missed it. Um, that's when they had just like the permanent markers, like the Sharpies. So I was very happy to see that they are reach are, are growing what they're currently doing. If I had a suggestion though, brush tip brush tips. You can't go wrong with brush tips. Um, so here is my color card. Now, do keep in mind that when you have alcohol base mark or any markers, you're wanting to keep them on their side because that way the liquid inside of the marker evenly distributes between the two sides. So you don't get markers that are DOA, which are dead on arrival or juicier on one side than they are the other. Um, so I actually experienced maybe one or two markers that were a little drier than I felt they needed to be. But that could be because of the fact, and I went through and I used the other side and found that the other side was juicier. And that's because the markers had been sitting up for 24 hours instead of laying on their side. So I would highly suggest that when you get markers, find a way to store them on their side. Yes, it does come in this cool container with the, the candle on it. And your first thing to do is just sit it up just like this. But what you're going to want to do is leave it somewhere sit like this. And even if you work out of the container with it like this, you can essentially use that to prop it up. Have it off to the side and it's propped up now where you can just pick the markers in and out of the container. Like you see how it's just propped up over here. And now I can just reach and go. Okay. Okay. So highly suggest putting the markers on their side. Let's straighten you back up here. We're going to move this to the other side so I'm not blocking my light. So here is my color card. So as you can see, they did add some skin tones. I was very happy to see that. So number 29 and 28 are skin tones for like Caucasian. Then you have 36 and 31, which are more so uh, like a honey brown skin tone. 33 and 32 can also be considered skin tones. Uh, 122 and 35, 103, if you're getting into the darker skin tones, you got 93, 92, 94 even, even 102. So they have quite a few options for skin tones. I love, love, love that they did that because if you remember in the other review I did, they didn't really have a selection for skin tones. They give you a wide selection of skin tones for these markers. You also have like a nice range of pinks and purples. Uh, I do love the different shades of blue. I love the fact that they give you different shades of brown and even honey brown. Um, you do, don't have a whole lot of yellows. You have 123, which is a fluorescent yellow from what the cap says. Um, but they have like a deep yellow, which is 32, which looks more kind of like a marigold. And they do have a marigold color. It is number 24 which is here. 
So it's just a tad darker than 32 and you're seeing this in natural light. So it's not like fluorescent lights or anything. Um, so I do wish they had a couple more yellows, but they do have a very good wide range of colors here. So I am very happy to see that. Now, the colors didn't go on to this card as easily. Uh, this is like, which it, it didn't bleed through too bad either. This is like a card stock almost. I'm not sure what kind of paper they use for that, but we are going to test it out on a coloring page. So what I did was I found a page that I want to color with you guys. So it's this young lady here. It is, of course, a Hannah Lynn. I do not know the image name. It's from her Simply and Whimsical Creatures, whatever book. So we're going to color this and I'm going to do it like I did last time where I kind of put it in a time lapse. And then when I come back, you guys will see uh, what the image looked like. And I'll give you some final thoughts on how they perform. Now take it, this is on a hundred uh, pound paper. It's a uh, cardstock. I will leave it down in the description box below. Um, it's the paper that I print all my printables on and it works phenomenally. The colors usually just pop right off the page. So we're gonna color her. And then when I come back, I'll give you some final thoughts. You ready? Let's go.
right, so there you have it. I loved working with these. Now, one, I'm not sure why there's color on that, but I absolutely loved working with these. And as you can see, that color just pops. It was very useful using the color card, so I'm glad I waited to do it with you guys. Um, but as you can see, they work really good and they blend. If you remember, I used old red and coral red out of this set, which I guess that was upside down, sorry. Old red and coral red, number two and number 12, to do the hair. And as you can see, if you come down, if you look closer, all those dark spots, look how well they blended in. Some of the spots I didn't blend in too well purposely just because of like the shadowing and stuff. But a lot of those spots blended really, really good. Because of course, if my sunlight is, when you're coloring, you gotta, you gotta think of, you know, where's the light coming from? So for me, the light was coming from this way. So the sun was up here. So the light's coming from this way, like the shining through the window. So this side's going to be a little bit darker than this side. I did do a different skin tone than normal people would do, but Melanin Goddess had to. Melanin Mermaid. So I absolutely loved working with the markers. They do work really, really good on, on this, this image. They worked really good. I love how it turned out. Uh, leave down in the comment section below, do you think these are good markers? Um, when I looked at them last, they were $39.99 and there was a $10 off coupon and something will pop up on the side right here that tells you what the current price is of them right now. Because like I said, I have had these markers for a little bit and I'm not sure if they're still offering the $10 off of the Parku 80 pack. Um... As I'm making this now, it looks like they're at $31.99, which is a steal. Um, so that's at the time I'm doing this. So today is Thursday the 20, or I'm sorry, Thursday the 30th. So you guys will see this on February 1st. So check it out. They might still be on sale. It does say limited time, but the original price of these, if I remember correctly, was, uh, I want to say $49 or $39.99. I think it was $39.99 and then it had a $10 off coupon. But right now for a limited time, they're $31.99. So you will have to check that out on your own. As you can see, they color beautifully. The colors just pop like, oh my God, I absolutely love it. So thank you so much to the folks over at Parku for sending these over for me to review. I do love them. Uh, if I had any suggestions, it would be one. Can we get a brush tip? Can you guys do a brush tip? Two. Um, a couple more yellows. A couple more yellows would be nice. Um, like I said, you don't have a wide variety of yellows. You have like honey mustard yellows and then like a one bright yellow, which is actually fluorescent yellow. Um, maybe a couple more yellows. Um, other than that, I think they're amazing. And for the price, you can't beat that. So, you know, for someone who's just starting out wanting to get into markers or something like that, I would definitely recommend Parku markers. They're budget friendly and they work great as you saw. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave those down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer those for you, or maybe we can even get Parku to answer them for you. So look out for them possibly in the comment section. But with that said, folks, I now have to bid you adieu. And if you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this one, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, folks, I'm now going to have to bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.